Hey angels, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa and I'm the face behind St. Venus, which is a six-figure online women's clothing brand. On my channel, I share what it's like to run a business, the behind the scenes, and I wanna start making these tutorial videos of what to do when you're first starting. This is the type of video I was definitely looking for when I started almost five years ago on my journey. So getting into today's video, we're going to be setting up a Shopify store and the best thing about Shopify, I feel like, are the different applications that marry along with Shopify to really make it your sales bestie, your sales tool when starting your e-commerce store, right? So Shopify has a short free trial and then after that, it's a dollar a month for three months to get you started and this is not sponsored by Shopify although Shopify if y'all want to sponsor me my email is open um but I think that is a great time period for you guys to get all the kinks out um before having to pay that recurring monthly fee to host your site so we're gonna get right into the video and I'll leave that link below to get the free trial plus the dollar for three months um account in the description so we're gonna get right into the video right now <laughs> so we're gonna input our email address that way we can get started with our free three-month trial and then we're gonna select the plan that we want to activate once our trial is over so Shopify has multiple different plans but we're gonna start off with the basic plan and you're gonna input your credit card details here this plan is $39 a month, but if you do choose to pay a year in advance, and it comes out to be about $29 a month for that year. So now that we have our basic plan, we can get started with setting up our store. So the first thing we're gonna do is add your first product. So this is what the product page looks like, and we're going to sell lamps. I'm gonna put red lamp right here. And in the description, you put whatever you want, whatever you want the description to be, you'll put it in there. We're gonna set our status to draft because you put it to active, it'll be available for your customers to see immediately, and you may not want that. So now that we've added in the description, we're gonna just upload a photo. You will take your own product photos, of course, but this is just for tutorial purposes. Product category will change to, we'll go to lamps, product type, lamps, and this will just be helpful for um, categorization as you get more products on your site. Okay, for pricing, you're gonna input how much you wanna sell it for. So we're gonna sell this lamp for $200 and compare it at price. So this is just if you're marking down, we're gonna charge tax because this is a high tax item. And how much in cost per item is the cost you paid for it. We bought this for $60 and we're gonna put that we have 10 lamps available. If you wanna put a SKU, you can, but we'll skip this. Continue selling when out of stock. I leave this off. If you're selling a digital product, you won't need to track inventory because it's unlimited. And then the weight, we'll go back up there. I said five pounds, so this is five pounds. And this is gonna be useful for when you're shipping out products and we'll press save. So the next step is to prepare to sell online. So you can do that by adding in your social sharing details. So here you can add in your homepage title and we're calling us Lamps RS. Why not? Let's go down the preview. You would upload your logo here. You would put in your store name here. If you have a Google account, you can set that up. You can also do this later. This is not something that you need immediately. And finally, let's deselect the password. The next step is customizing your online store. So we'll do that right now. So it's automatically selected on Dawn, and this is the theme that I used for a long time. But the best thing about Shopify, there are all these themes, and you can explore over 80 free and paid themes. And we're just going to scroll down and see if there's anything that catches our eye, matches the vibe that you're going for, or maybe something that, since I'm selling lamps, I see this furniture store one, maybe that one may have a lot of things that are useful for 
my store. So these are all paid ones. We're gonna actually just click free because I just wanna see the free ones for now. And click refresh. So we're gonna try the theme. I click try. So we're adding refresh to one of our online store themes and you'll have your theme library here as you make different changes um, to your website. I think it's always best to just copy it over and then change that one once you're happy and you've been using it for a while, then you could delete the old version. But I like to have multiple versions of my site because you never know if there's maybe last summer your site did something extremely cool and it's not doing it anymore. You want to know why you can always go back and check. Okay. So if you click up here for homepage, this is where you can access the different pages on your site. So what a product page would look like, what a collection page could look like, what a regular page, like this could be like your about us page. This could be your frequently asked questions page. It's basically just like the templates for that page. So we'll click product since we uploaded a product and we'll see what a default product page looks like. If you have more than one item on your site, you may want to add a section down here. So we'll add a section to this template where maybe we show, and you can click something here. Maybe we show a featured collection. That way, as your customers are looking at one item, on the bottom they can see other items that they might be interested in. On the left side is where the template is, and on the right side is how you will be able to change any of these individual elements. So this will be a work in progress. You're not gonna you know, get this out in one time. And my best suggestion for updating your site and seeing what should be on there and what pages you're missing and all these type of things, look at other sites that you shop on frequently, see what pages that they have that you may want to incorporate into your site, use those as inspiration and always save any changes that you make. Next, let's connect our custom domain. So Shopify has you set up with a domain, but it's pretty generic and it has the myshopify.com domain at the end. And you're going to want something that's unique and memorable as your domain name. Rihanna uses rihanna.store for her merch store. Shopify's website is shopify.com and Behance's domain is behance.net. The ending of those links, .store, .com, .net, the domain is a unique tag that sets websites apart. So when a website ends in .store, it immediately tells people who come across your site that they've come across an online store. And .store domains are quickly gaining popularity. People like Mr. Beast, Cristiano Ronaldo, Michelle Obama, Sice, and millions of others are all using .store domains. There was even a year-long study that found that dot store domains help business owners sell more. And websites that ended in .store were shown to get 87% more people visiting them and two times more visibility on Google. The more visitors on your site, the more people, the more eyes, the more opportunities to sell. And as a business owner, finding cost savings when you can, especially at the start, is so important. Dot Store has this great program called Elevate Dot Store, which gives you access to deals and discounts up to $2,500 on essential e-commerce tools that you'll be using, like ShipStation, MailChimp, Vistaprint, and essentially, it's girl math because when you opt in for a dot .store domain, you're saving on so many essential business tools already. So I've partnered with dot .store to offer you all an exclusive and limited offer on a dot .store domain. You can use the code VENUSSTORE at checkout and you'll get your domain for $0.99 cents for the first year. The link will be in my description as well as the code. And as soon as you get yours, you'll be able to connect it back to Shopify. And we'll go on to the next step in setting up your store. Now we're on the third part, which is store settings. So now it's time to name your store. You put in your store name here. You're gonna add in your business phone number. Do not put in your personal phone number. And then you'll also add in an email address. For right now, I'm just using a Gmail email and I'll update this later and then we'll press save then we've updated this you'll put in your business address you'll put in the store currency so I'm in the US so I'm using US dollar we'll just check that off you've named your store we're gonna go set up our shipping rates so we're gonna add some rates so we'll do a flat rate and I like to put custom and then you'll customize this and you'll name this whatever you want you'll put I'll put standard shipping, description, it's 
standard shipping. We'll put three to four business days. The price of standard shipping will make 12 bucks. Add conditional pricing. We'll do it based on the order of this pricing. The minimum price of this is zero dollars. The maximum price of this is $500, done. And then you can also, for example, you might wanna do custom and you might wanna offer free shipping when people hit a certain threshold. So price of this is free, conditional, based on price, we'll make this $500.01, and then there's no limit on, on how much money they spend for free. So I have these two shipping rates set up. Um, please keep in mind what your threshold can be and the type of items that you're selling, because free shipping will encourage people to hit that buy button. So now that we have our shipping rates, we're gonna press save. So let's set up our Shopify payments now. This is how you're gonna receive payments as well as get paid. So start by selecting your business type and inputting all the necessary information from your EIN or your social, your street address, your personal information. And when you get down to the bottom, you wanna make sure to update the customer billing statement section. Put in your store name, that way customers can recognize charges they make with you. So now we're at the last step. And this is basically just to test all the work that we've done. So we've already picked the plan and we've already removed our store password. So those are already clicked. Now all you need to do is test an order and make sure that your site is running smoothly and you like what you're seeing. Now we have our Shopify stores set up and I'm super excited for all of you guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. This was a huge step for you and your business. So let me know in the description what other Shopify tutorials you may want to see on the channel or any other small business questions that you want to see me answer or tutorials you want me to walk you through. It doesn't need to be complicated. We're going to simplify everything here on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with a friend if this was useful. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.